Hello! In this video, we're going to see how to use the Visual Art tag command that can be found under the Visual Art documentation toolbar. This tag command is used to display labels with a specific reference text for Visual Art objects in the model. For example, if we want to tag this column, we have to run the tag command, select one tag style, and a label will appear at the bottom of the Visual Art object. In this case, this level appears empty because the column tag field is empty too. So if we go to the column properties panel, we see that this tag field is empty. So if we fill it up with a text, this text will be updated here on the tag we have created. If we have a look at the tag format, we see that it displays this element tag name that it refers to. But if we change that into any other property of that object, for example the column profiles name, profile that name, this is information that it's going to show. So now if we change the profile size, this information will be updated on this tag element. Now let's repeat the process for another visual art object, for example a door. So we will going to see the model from the top viewport. Let's display the level means one with the cut plane on. And in this case we will assign first a tag name for this door before running the tag command. So we select the door properties and here we type a reference name for the door, for example D1. Now we run the tag command, we select the door, and the tag appears here with the with that reference name we have just written. This tag position is related to the door's position, so if we move it, the tag moves too. And also we can display other properties of the of the door, for example its profile size. In this case we're going to select the tag and here we're going to copy this formula to type first the width and again the height. So now the tag will display this information of the door. Of course, if we change it, let's put here for example 70 centimeters by 2 meters high, the tag information will update. And there are different ways from which we can align this tag with the, with the door. So we select the tag and we can choose this vertical orientation or the aligned. Okay, so if we move the door position, we see that the tag is aligned with the door along the wall. You can change some attributes for the tag object, editing its style. So if we do right click on the tag icon, we can just select the tag style and change any of its attributes. For example, the uh, size of the tag style. So we come here and we define a different text size for this attack object. And finally, I will show you a little trick to quickly assign attack field to all openings that are in the model. So, when we run the opening elevation command, we select all the openings we have in the model We specify an insertion point, a direction, and as you can see, all the doors and windows have a reference text assigned by default. So now, if we run the tag command and select all the doors and windows,
we will see them with the reference text automatically assigned.